Maggie's menu. Mum's literally just gone up to bed. So I've got to be quiet. I've actually taken this way too far. But I wanted to try everything. And I wanted the new Grinch Happy Meal box. Nah, you big back, bro. That's some big back buffalo beluga whale shit, dude. You out here in the middle of the night? Ordering Uber Eats, bro? Trying to be quiet as hell while an Uber Eats dude is ringing the doorbell for you? What, you crazy? Nah, bro, that's big back. You out here literally with the Grinch who stole Christmas? I didn't even know there was a, a new menu at McDonald's, bro. Why do you guys keep up with that? Who, who's out here really keeping up? With the new McDonald's menu, as if it matters at all. Oh man, wow, they replaced the slop they used to have with the new slop. But it's cooler now because guess what? It's got the Grinch on it. Like, who who even cares? Like, what are you gonna do with this shit? It's a novelty thing. What are you gonna put it behind you? Like, it show everybody off when they come in here. I was like, oh wow, you got that one thing from McDonald's at one time from like two years ago. Just a random Happy Meal box on your shelf. You gotta be sad as hell for that. Like, what, what are we, who are we impressing right now? To sit there with this McDonald's shit, dude. You get, get get your life together, dude. Middle of the night, 12 a.m. in the morning, you out here body slamming, body slamming pure slop from Mickey D's as if that's some kind of accomplishment. <gasps> I'm obsessed. How cute is that? Yeah, but it's just the box. Like it's nothing. It's like it's whatever, dude. That's like getting a new phone and then being impressed at the box it came in. Like who the fuck cares about what it comes in, dude? Like I get it, presentation matters, but like ultimately you only really care about what you're putting in your mouth, right? Why does it matter if that'd be like you thinking that like let's say for instance you're a woman and you're like, oh man, dude, look at the brick. Look at the brick on that guy right there. I bet he got big meat. Pull it out, right? Whip that shit out. Unzip, right? Hold up. It looked like you got an acorn glued to the bottom of your torso. What is that? Who, what is, why is it so small? That's literally what, it, you think it looked good on the outside, but then you see it and you're like, it's not the best. Same thing here. Why does it matter? It's a box. It's literally just a Grinch who stole Christmas box. And, and plus, you know, this just Uber Eats. So you probably, the, the dude probably bought this shit probably 30 minutes ago. Probably been sitting on your food for the past 30 minutes. I'm gonna put that on my Christmas tree. You're sad as hell, dude. Get the hell out of my face, man. Talk about, I'm gonna put this on my Christmas tree. You got nothing else to put on your Christmas tree? I got a funny, because I'm being more mindful. I got carrot sticks. They cringe carrot sticks. You could have just went to the grocery store and got them. You know that, right? Damn, that overline is kind of serious, dude. You gotta do something about that overline, dude. Jesus. I'm also so hungover. I went out last night and I took it way too far. I was on the savvy all night. Damn, bro. You gotta, you know, not only do you got a problem with obesity, not only do you got a problem with fast food, you also got a problem with drinking copious amounts of alcohol. What is it up with this, this, uh, this organization of individuals out there, dude? Uh, just sit there all night and day drinking copious amounts of alcohol and then thinking that the remedy is going back home, ordering Uber Eats and body slamming more slop to remedy the slop that you just put in your mouth as if that's going to make it better at all. And then you wake up in the middle of the morning talking about some Oh my god, guys, I'm so hungover. I've drunk too much alcohol, and me and Lee are so sick. So we're gonna eat lasagna with baby bells on it, and then we're gonna have mayonnaise next to it. And then after that, we're gonna get a burger from Mackey's. Like, every day. Every single day with these people, man. Why are you guys always hung over, man? I, like, I knew some people that were actually alcoholics, like some pure alcoholics, right? Dudes that was getting 24 packs and finishing that shit in a night. That would not even be close to the amount of alcohol consumptions that you guys be drinking, dude. It's, it's on some different level. You guys are uncanny in the realm of alcoholism. But, you know, obviously, the Mickey D's going to remedy it. Go ahead. I just you know how happy I am. It's McDonald's. Not the cheese melted piece of pack. Oh, yeah? Honestly, the way I think about these. What the fuck is that shit? I've never seen these before in my life, and that's a big-ass box. I guess it's one of the new holiday menus. I don't know, dude. Like, does it really even matter? If, if it's a holiday menu and it's just basic bitch, I guess, cheese, just deep-fried cheese, why does it matter, dude? It's not even real cheese, by the way. You know that, right? You know that's not real cheese? It's not supposed to be yellow like that. Yeah, you know that? And by the way, you know if you leave that out for, like, a year, you know it would still say the same, right? Anyway. Daily. Do you know last year, or was it the year before, when they got took off the menu, I actually cried. Nah, that's, nah, that's a problem, dude. That's some big back shit, dude. What you talking about? So they had them on the menu, 
and you was da 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 loving that shit in your mouth. And then they took it away and you started bawling your eyes out? Why the fuck are you talking like this, man? What, you got nothing going on in your life where you got, like, how, how great is your life where you're crying about McDonald's menu items leaving? As if that's, like, anything at all, bro. I didn't even know McDonald's even, had, like, don't get me wrong. You know, back in the day when they had the two for five, 100%, I was feeling upset when I walked in there. We get the two QPs, two QPs in my mouth. And let me get a small fry back when it was a dollar, dude. So you getting two QPs and a small fry? You was really pleasing your mouth. I mean, honestly speaking, dude, um, my mouth was satisfied. I was really glazing my own lips every single, not every day. I wasn't that big back, but I was most definitely doing it at least once a week. I was going, because two for five, what are you talking about? I will go in there. They would know. I, I would walk in there like, look, two QPs. They'd be like, yeah, I already knew. I already knew you wanted them two because I, I came in there literally. I mean, at this point, I was talking to the people behind the counter so much. They were starting to learn English from me. And I remember the first time I walked in there, I was like, yeah, let me get a QP. I went behind the counter. I was like, what you talking about? QP? I was like, yeah, let me get the QP. She was like, what's that? I was like, oh, my bad. The quarter pounder. Let me get the quarter pounder. Like, it's just no, it was just not natural for me to say that. It's natural for me to be like, let me get the QP. I'm trying to get the QP. Because, like, that's what we call it here. If somebody said they want to get the QP to go and get the quarter pounder. That's what it is. But back in the day when it used to be the two for five, I used to be in there every day washing my lips with it, dude. Marinating my throat. I was literally mouth washing my own mouth with it, dude. It was too good. This is I was sad when it left, but I was like, whatever. I'll just go home and make my own food, I guess. First bites of a cheese. Uh -huh. 2025. No. 2025? What you talking about? You time traveling now? Oh, yeah, we had 2024. Yes, I could cry. Let's see it. Let's see it a review. By the way, these are not hot. These 100% have been sitting in the back of that Uber driver's car for the last 30 minutes, probably. That's just cold as fuck. Bricks. I love you, and I'm so glad you're back. Big back as fuck. It's, it's probably not good at all, right? It's, it's just literally deep fried cheese that were pre-made probably down in Mexico or some shit like that. And they shipped them up in big ass trucks with refrigerators and now you're eating that. Like, how's it feel knowing that you're just eating some basic bitch shit like some Mexican dude put together down there? How you feel about that? You you think that's good? You think that's good in your mouth? Oh, my bad. No, they're in the UK, so it's probably a little bit better. I don't know. Like, what's the equivalent of like Mexican people, I don't know, putting breaded stuff on things and then like shipping it across the country? Like... What do you guys got over there? Like Indonesia? I don't know, man. Whatever. I could literally lob all these at the wall. I'm not excited. Cause they're that bad or what? <laughs> Shit, dude, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> What's in the Happy Meal? What 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 you get in the Happy Meal, bro? Grown woman getting grown Happy Meal? Go ahead. Gorgeous. They also got the cheesy but crispy. <gasps> You're lying. Jeez. You're fucking big. You're big. You really out here ordering? The ten piece cheese, whatever the fuck those things are, and you got the Mick Crispy. God damn, and that bacon look wet. Why that bacon is so hydrated, dude? It looked like the delivery driver spit on it. Unreal. I love these buns. Got a squishy on it. It's spicy double cheese. This is the cheese. You got the double cheese too. Damn. You just can't stop yourself at all? You just don't give a fuck? Like, you just don't care about yourself at all? Like, what are we doing with our lives ordering this much food? You just don't, like, let me ask you a question. When you see that money deposit in your account, right? Let me ask you something. When you see that money hit your account, are you just looking at that like, I can't, I need to spend this money. I'm going I'm to go ahead and just hear me out, right? I think this would be beneficial for me and you if we both did this, okay? You obviously don't give a fuck about yourself, naturally. And you obviously don't care about the money that's deposited in your account because you just be spending that shit like that. I'm willing to make you a deal, Sherry Ann. Here, here's a deal, okay? How about this? Whenever that money is about to deposit in your account, how about you just shuffle that into my account? I'll go ahead and I'll send you my Venmo, uh, Cash App, whatever you got. And you go ahead and send me that to me. I'll take that. That that will be good for me. And it'll be good for you because you obviously don't care about that money. You're just spending that shit like no problem. And it, you not spending that money uh, will be better because it seems like you only spend it on fast food to begin with. And bullshit. So take your money. Send it to me. And I'll take that. I'll use that. And that will be so good for both of us. I mean, think about it. Just think about it. That's all I'm going to say. Because obviously you don't give a fuck. 
Double cheeseburger with a double chin. Try the Christmas menu with vodka in and Zary's chocolate orange. <laughs> These make my adrenaline pump in every inch of my Blood sugar really hitting high. New levels of highs. What was in the uh, what was in the, the the kids meal though? Did she just get the kids meal for the box? Mm, 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 mm. That has got to be up there. It was one of the best burgy workies that Mackey's has ever done. Uh, you know the the Mick Chicken or whatever this thing is called, the Mick Crispy or whatever, dude. It's alright. It's okay. It's not the worst. I've had it once or twice. It's alright. Your mouth be satisfied after it, but. It's not really like that good in my opinion. I mean, obviously the QP is the best, but it's okay. It's all right. But in the UK, it looks like you got some really, really wet, like really wet bacon for some reason. You guys cook it at all? Or you just take it out the pack and just slop it on the burger. She's a bit spicy, you know. I mean, you got to mix spicy, right? Didn't that, didn't, okay, whatever, dude. That is million out of 10. I need some funny. 12, 12 a.m. in the morning, by the way. Now 12 a.m. That shit is slop. Ooh. It's cold. Yeah, no, I wonder why it's fucking cold. I wonder why, because that dude, that dude delivering that shit probably, I mean, the least he could do is sit on it, right? I mean, listen, dude. If you're delivering my food, you got that shit in the back of your whip. That shit is literally chilling. You got the windows down. It's in the middle of November, dude. You got the window down, the air hitting my cold-ass fucking McDonald's order, bro. The least you could do is sit on my McDouble, bro. Take my McDouble, take it out the bag, put it under your butt, and just sit on that shit, bro. I'll pay you money to sit on my burger. Keep my shit warm, my dude. Why is it spicy? You fucking, that's crazy. Oh my God. That's dirty. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You're dirty mm -mm 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 -mm. for that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. See? Merry Grinchmas. You remember when he was doing Crocs? That was the ultimate. That was good. Uh, oh, man. Cheesy chip box. We've just been to the chippy. We got chippy tea again, and we're sharing a cheesy chip box. Lisa sharing. So I've got sausage, cheesy chips, and gravy. Gravy. And I've got cheesy chips and gravy and a pie. Can I do the gravy pour? No, it's okay. You can do it. Are you sure? Yeah. Apparently, they don't do gravy like this in America. So this is a complete British thing. What is it? And I feel so honored. What do you, you mean like this? Like, can you explain what you mean by they don't do gravy like this in America? What does that mean exactly? I don't know. You just kind of left it there. But yo, Corey, you look real good in this video, by the way. You look real good. I think you look real good in this video, by the way. You look good. Ready? Ooh. Gravy pour pour. Well, they don't do Not have gay. chippies in America. No. What? Yeah, you guys Look are weird as fuck. Dude, UK food is literally just diabolical. Like, you guys literally just put up with slop. Like, I hope you guys know that when you eat this food and you're sitting here, you know, really rolling your eyes in the back of your head like it's some kind of ambrosia bestowed upon you from the gods themselves, I want you to know what you're eating is literal slop. Like, when here in America we see people eating that stuff, we literally look at you like this. Hold up. Sorry. We literally look at you like this. What is that? Oh, my God. That shit is slop. That's what we think. It's all slop to us. I know you guys got some okay foods, like Indian food, I guess. That's all right. That looks okay. But overall, you, you guys' food is uh water. It's so wet. It's so just, why is everything got to be so mushy? Like, why, you know, the environment are already over there is so depressing. Why the food got to be depressing too? That looks so good. What are you talking about? That looks good. He's literally just spilling some brown gravy on cheese, bro. What you talking about? What you mean that looks good? There's no rhyme or reason to it at all. And you guys are eating that shit in a paper box in the whip. You guys don't care? I bet that car smell like Sasquatch nuts. How long you guys been doing this shit in the whip? In the car? Man, dude. you Nah, dude. You got me all the way fucked up with that. I knew a dude who bought a hoopty one time, right? Because it was his first car, 
and it was a car that didn't have one of the doors didn't open you had to get in from the back and come into the front and the, the window didn't roll down or whatever but he had bought it from this dude he bought it for like two thousand dollars it always had a check engine light but i remember the first time he come pick me scoop me up right I said david come downstairs i'm downstairs i got in the car i was like damn this car smell like butt butter what the fuck is going and he was like yeah bro the, the last dude that bought this car he was big he was a big man and i don't think he was wiping his ass before he got in the car this car smelt like pure dishwater this car smelt like actual ass and it was the i almost couldn't believe all the problems this man had with this whip dude this shit literally wouldn't even start sometimes like he would turn he would turn the key and it would not start he but like, hold up Give me one second. Hold up. He would go in the, go in the trunk and get a battery started, put it on the battery, and then start it, and then take the battery off, put it back in the trunk. That's just what he had to do like 30% of the time to get the car even working. Uh, it was, it was a, but it was, it was fast. It was fast. We hit like 98 on the freeway. Mmm. That smells so nice as well. <laughs> yes. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Dirty. That's good. Me and Leah have actually ate tea in the car for the last four nights in a row. Yeah, I know that shit smell like ass. That's crazy, bro. I know that car smelled dirty. No. Cheers. Cheers. You nasty, dude. Damn, Leah, calm down. Nice. Mmm, that was so good. Is that a good sauce? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. We were actually supposed to be going on a night out tonight. <laughs> we're just not in the mood for it. Nah. Sometimes you just need to you sit. Thought, you thought it'd be better... Instead of going out for a night out and fucking your stomach up with all that alcohol, you thought it'd be better to just fuck your stomach up in the car, huh? I mean, you know, whatever. It's the same shit regardless, huh? And eat cheese and chips in the car. We got Baby Bell in the back, so we're going to take her for a walk. In That's there. crazy, dude. Baby Bell, by the way, is their doge. I guess that dude's in the back while these dudes is literally handicapping themselves with all this fucking food. Uh, crazy as hell. I guess that dog is just going to live in torments. You know, the smell that's emanating from the front seat to the back seat is crazy. How are you guys spending your Friday night? And what is your Friday night dinner? And three questions. What is your takeaway of choice? Mm. Four questions. If you are having a chippy... Wash your order. Yeah. We don't have no chippy tea here. We don't do that here in America. For a long time, I didn't even know what a chippy tea was. But then people had to tell me, oh, David, chippy tea is just a particular way of eating French fries and this and that. You guys call things weird things, okay? I'm sick of people in the UK. You guys talk very, very weird over there. You have the posh, you have the posh UK people that are like, oh, my God, it's amazing. All right, you got those and you got the ones that go, uh, Oi, 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 bruv, oof, oi, bruv, let me chat to you, let me chat to you, mans, what are you doing, you're being, you're being weird, bruv, bruv, do you know who I am, man, do you know who I am, let me get your, let me get your Instagram, let me get your Instagram, bruv, like, you got those guys, like, it's just like, what's going on, why is it so dynamic, why is it, like, I, I understand, here in America, we got dudes that speak English, but don't really speak English, like, kind of, you know what I'm talking about, like, it's just kind of weird lingo, but, like, in the UK, it's just like, it's a small little, it's like what? Like you guys are literally like a paperclip in a, in the middle of the ocean, right? You guys are you you just like on an island, and then America is a giant landmass. So like it makes sense that we would have like different demographics of people and things like that. But your country is small. Like how do you have that many different ways of talking to shit and only have that small ass little place? That's the question I want to know the answer to. Mm. What's your go to chippy order? Is my pie? Usually I take the lid off, but I'm just gonna go straight for it. Damn. Might be Damn. Mm. Is it good? Mm. Want some? I never understand why you take the lid off. Is that what you're supposed to do? Well, I like to dunk it because we got gravy all over it. Mm. Right now, Tam. Beautiful. Beautiful aroma. Hearing the nature sounds at the back. It's just awesome. Not hey, we're going to finish this and we'll catch you all later. Okay, Corey. Love you so. Love you too. Love you too. Yeah. Love you too. Love you so. I haven't done a Y in a day for the longest time, but they're making a comeback. I've skipped breakfast this morning and we've come straight over Martha's for lunch. Oh yeah, just to let you guys know, I did blur, because there was kids, there's kids, I don't know why Corey puts the kids up on the internet, whatever dude. It, I'm sure they're fine, I'm sure it's like, I don't like really showing kids on camera. Um, but I blurred it out in the, like the, when I put this video together. We got beagles and Marks and Spencer's chicken soup, beagles. and this lunch was lush. Obviously we've been mindful lately, and we've cut down massively, so my Y in a days aren't as exciting as they used to be. Yo, what was that, bro? I'm mindful lately, and we've cut down massively. So my what I eat in a day's honest.
It's all right. I, I know it is a dog toy, but like when I saw the mouth go down on that, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Exciting as they used to be. And today we've gone a whole day without a takeaway. That this is Henny depressed. Martha's dog. And after we all had lunch, we decided to make some paintings. This was so much fun. This is the longest we haven't seen Charlie for. God damn, bro. Just dumped the entire bag down on the food like that? Oh, it's been two whole weeks, but she's come over tonight for tea. I've made this More all. cheese on a cheese that you already dumped on it, literally 90 degrees angled down. How much money do you guys spend on cheese in a week? I would love to know that shit. Cheesy pasta with gravy and a bowl of Yorkie pork. And it's never melted. Never. It's always like cheese that it's unmeltable. Like this, this cheese is like almost incapable of ever heating up. Cookies and this tea is top tier. It's reliable. It's tasty and it's so simple. Charlie's been out for the last two Whoa. nights in a row and she's really hung over. Leah cracked open the wine and even the bottle being opened in the same room was Charlie made her feel sick. The stench pushed her over the edge. We shared these pretzels and dip and play. Good quality friends, man. You know, like. Sherry Ann has been, has been drunk for literally nights in a row. And you're just like, you know, Sherry Ann, you know, it'd be great to remedy that, that, that disgusting hangover that you have. More disgusting hangover juice. Something that's really going to tip the scale. Something that's going to body slam you beyond belief. Something that's going to put you on your back further than any other, uh, anything else before in your life. Good friends, good friends, good friends. Played on the switch for the rest of the night. And for the first time ever in history, Charlie actually won. I think she needed the cheering up today anyway. Hope you've all had a lush weekend. I'll do more of these soon. Bye-bye, driver. I don't often cook a roast dinner, but today I'm treating Leah to one. My favorite meat on a roast dinner's got to be a kebab. Step one, wash your meat. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're gross. That's crazy, bro. Washing your meat? Where'd you buy it for you to wash it like this, bro? What? I saw this man before, by the way. I've seen him wash ground beef. Like, I've seen him literally sit there over the sink with ground beef, like, packaged. You know what I'm talking about? Like, in the, in the, from the deli. Take the ground beef, put it over the water, and just have that shit be rinsed out. Why? Do you do that? In the, why do you do that? I saw him also wash steak before, literally. Like, take the steak, steak, under the sink. Let the sink touch it with the water. Tap water too, by the way. Crazy. But anyway, tapping it up. Is this normal? Is this what you're supposed to do? You buy prepackaged, uh, what is this shit called again? Whatever this is called, the, the toilet paper meat, whatever, man. Uh, do you guys do this over there? You guys just sit there and, and water down your meat like this? That's not normal. The Donna Kebab, my be, yeah. Do you guys wash your Donna Kebabs? That seems wild to me, dude. If it's already prepackaged, you should be fine. I'm treating Leah to one. My favorite meat. You won't say you treating her to that shit when I'm seeing you literally watering your meat. On a roast dinner's got to be a kebab. Step one, wash your meat. Damn. Once it's clean, chuck it in the microwave. I'm making homemade roast. In the microwave, bro? Oh, Leah's getting that special treatment tonight, huh? So step two, get your potatoes, dice and slice them, okay. and chuck them in a boiling saucepan for 10 minutes. Okay. I love cooking for me and Leah, but with being oh. so busy, sometimes it's good to make time to cook. Once you've boiled your potatoes, get your seasoning a choice. I've gone for my four faves, sadji and thyme, garlic, salt, and okay. cumin. I do Cummings, season okay, generously, because I like to make sure the potatoes are extra spicy. Give it a shake, Sonora. Spray with some fry light and bang them straight in the air fryer. It's not bad. It smells so good in here. Obviously, with us being on a health kick recently, it's time to unlock the veg. Did you know you could buy chopped up leeks? Now, that's a game changer. If you didn't already know, I am. What, are you just cutting it on the table like that? So, do you not have like a cutting board or like a plate that you can cut that on? Just cut it directly on top of the table? I'm in a counter like that? I'm quite fussy with veg. It's more of a texture thing for me. But one thing I'm guaranteed to scoff is... Cheesy. Onions and leeks. And this is unreal. Mix your cheese Yeah, just scrape. Yeah, just use a good metal fork right on that metal pan. Yeah, just really get all that Teflon. Teflon is the seasoning, by the way. I know you might have thought it was the water or the, the cheese sauce. No, no, no. It's the Teflon that's really the seasoning. You thought, what, salt and pepper? No. Nah. Why are you salt and pepper when you can use the actual pan? We're being organic, okay? Sauce and tip it over the onions and leeks. Top the pot with some grated cheddar and a few cheeky baby bells if you're Damn, feeling extra bro, saucy. Kind of going crazy I bought some cheese. microwave mash and corn. I'm really cooking up a stormsy. If you want the results, let me know and I'll post a video of my masterpiece. Why eat in a day? And today is wicked day. Today I'm eating everything pink and green. 
because pink goes good with green. For Bracky, I'm having bacon and avocado on bagels. I had a green smoothie. Some of y'all let me know about this movie. I've been hearing a lot of people tell me that this Wicked movie is actually really, really good. You can let me know down below if it's actually good because I'm not aware of this movie. A lot of people have been saying um, it's actually surprisingly really good. I saw that the, there was like a whole bunch of what's the word I'm looking for? Like interviews before the movie came out and it was really cringy. Like all the interviews with Ariana Grande and that one black bald girl, uh, they were all really cringy. Um, but it's good to know that the cringe didn't go as far as the movie itself, just the, the people after it. So, I mean, let me know if it's good. Uh, it's a musical. I don't really watch musicals at all. And if I do, it's like the, the only one I've ever watched was the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And that one with the little black Annie girl. Are my greens? Obviously, I have to have an apple. Apples give me witchy vibes. Can you help struggling? with the new Wicked Squash? I tried the Glinda one first. Glinda's actually gobbles. Like, everything is pink. And she's main character energy. Do you know what I mean? Well, that's I Ariana pink Grande. I green grapes. And I put on my Wicked top from Asda. I had a cup of my Wicked mug. And I had green peppers and sweet chili hummus as I was watching Wizard of Oz. I felt like it was only right to watch Wizard of Oz. This hummus was absolutely gorgeous. I haven't seen Wizard of Oz in a year. This is the one where they had uh, asbestos, right? Like, they all breathed in asbestos and stuff like that. Real sad, by the way. Asbestos is not good to ingest. No. It was giving nostalgia. Then I tried the Alpha Bar squash. I can't get over how pretty these squashes are. Guys, tonight I'm going to watch Wicked. I am so excited. I had Wicked popcorn Damn, and the bro. green and pink Damn. tiny ice blast. I was channeling my... Don't look too bad there. I'm not going to lie. Don't look too bad. Not too bad. Tanner's kind of going crazy, though. That's uh, You real dark. You real dark right now, man. Uh, I thought you... Are uh, you my VP? Are you my VP of my country right now? Is that Kamala? Kamala Harris? In a no, Glinza, and I wore a pink bow to the cine as well. This film has got to be one of the best films I've ever, ever seen. I've got to go and watch it again. I can't stop singing popular. When I got home, I had green pesto pasta. Why eat in a day? Severely hungover edition. Last Every day. Every day severely hungover for Sherry Ann. Really a big issue with alcohol, in my opinion. A lot of these people seem to, every single day, be drinking way too much. Right, I took it way too... <sighs> Calm down a little bit, okay? You can't start a video like that. What the fuck are we doing right now, man? You always going so crazy, Sherry Ann. You, every night you be doing some crazy shit. Far, I got wine drunk. I had too many savvy bees. I had these electrolytes. I was hoping they were going to save my soul. I've got to go for round two tonight, so I need Ooh. to get myself into gear. I ordered a subby, and since when has the power raid lids changed? That's just ruined my day. We got I don't really fuck with Subway, man. Last time I was at Subway, it was probably like 2011, dude. Back when they had that $5 foot long shit. Now they don't got that. There's no footlongs anymore. Uh, if there is, they're like, what, eight, nine, ten dollars Who fucking spending that much money on a subway? Suck me off, bro. It's just never been worth it. It wasn't even worth it for the five bills. They were lucky to even smell my five bills when I walked in there. Let me know if subway is good at all. More of Mon's birthday celebrations tonight. How cutesy are these blooms? They buy every event card. Damn, bro. We got, yo, yo, these alcoholic beverages is crazy, bro. You guys got a real issue over there, man. And she smashes it every time. We also had the one and only tap cocktails. It's not a party without tap cockianas. We surprised oh, her. Shit. Is that a little bow wow? With the decks. And I did. I oh. Not a little bow wow? Tried to get myself into gear for round two, but I couldn't do it. I know it's not a little bow wow. Come on now. You gonna call me racist for that? It was a joke. It was a joke. It was, I know it's not a little bow wow. I know. That's Cherry Ann's girlfriend or something like that, I think. I don't know. But I knew I knew it wasn't. It was a joke. It was a joke. Don't be. Don't stop. Stop. I can see you writing in the comment section. David, you're racist. Listen, I knew it was a It was a, Okay, I'm racist. I'm racist. All right, what do you want? What? What? I guess I'm racist. Even this Dommy pizza couldn't kind of did look like a little bow wow a little bit, right? Just a little bit if it was sized up a little bit. Me, I had to get in the taxi and go that out. That pizza does not look good. Oh, my head was pounding and I could have thrown up any second. I watched Corey and I ordered a Mackey's and I tried the new Christmas menu. What a way to save a hangover. The cheese melt dippers are back. I could cry. They're absolutely gorgeous. I tried the new cheese burgie wurgie and the McCrispy. This cherry chocolate orange chocolate pie was stunning. Gross. The cheese dippies. They have a special. Don't, don't, don't tap your phone like that. I don't like that. Uh, that hurt my ears a little bit she'll place in my heart beautiful i'm happy for sherry ann i'm happy for Corey's world i'm happy for all of them in general they're great people i hope they do better on their diets and stop drinking as much as they do god damn you guys be drinking too much way too much anyway guys 
we're gonna end the video here if you enjoyed today's video i'd appreciate for everybody to leave a like comment subscribe sharing the video all that stuff i'd appreciate it tremendously if you watch the video in its entirety leave it down below by typing in pod pod uh because i feel like pods deserve representation airpods uh ipods uh you know, uh, I don't even know what else is there. U pods, I don't know, man. Whatever pods, P P O D S pods, all the way down there, plural with an S, kind of like, um, kind of like me and you. We're plural, and I care about you, and I really think that you're an amazing person, and I think you smell great, and I like your eyebrows, and I really do like your kneecaps as well. If I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a little bit obsessed. I'm a little bit obsessed with your deliciousness of the kneecap, your identification of kneecap. If there was a way, you know when you open your phone, you have like a face ID or you can put your, your thumbprint on it. Can we work some out for my face on your kneecap? Can we do that? I want to identify you based off your kneecap because I saw it the other night. I was looking upon your kneecap and I thought, that is gorgeous. That is outrageously delicious, outrageously amazing. Is there some kind of way that I could get a picture of that and then I could put it above my ceiling so that way I can like look at it when I wake up in the morning and gaze upon the beautifulness, the amazingness of the kneecap? I mean, it's not obviously just your kneecap. It's also your elbows, um, your ankle bone. Uh, you're also the back of your neck. I don't know if you knew, but the back of your neck, it also looks really, really delicioso. And I was looking at it too. That also looked really good too. You got a good, you got good everything, matter of fact. Everything that you have is so good. Fantastic bone structure. Matter of fact, you kind of giving me fantastic bone structure right now, even just thinking about it. Anyway, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.